Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on types of stoma. A stoma is defined as an artificial opening of a luminal organ into the external environment. It may be temporary or permanent, it may be end on or a loop. Its indications are, for input feeding for example percutaneous endoscopic gastrostomy. And for output, such as decompression or lavage, defunctioning or diversion, draining or exteriorization of urine and feces. Intestinal stoma can be small intestine, end or loop, large intestine end or loop, or small large intestine like iliocolic stoma. In iliocolic stoma, two lumens are present. Intestinal stoma can also be classified as end, loop, or double barrel. End stoma, transected end of the intestine is exteriorized and fashioned as a stoma, with only one lumen. Loop stoma, loop of intestine is exteriorized and a stoma is fashioned, with two lumen. Double barrel stoma, intestine is severed and brought out as two ends to fashion a stoma, with two lumen. Stomas can be temporary or permanent. Temporary cab B for decompression. Relief of bowel obstruction causing proximal dilatation. Such as end colostomy or transverse loop colostomy for obstructed colon tumor, where proximal large bowel is decompressed. Or for defunctioning or diverting, such as loop ileostomy after low anterior resection. Whereas for permanent stoma. Absolute permanent are like end colostomy after abdominoperineal resection, or end ileostomy after panproctocolectomy, where there is no distal bowel remaining. Relative permanent in reversal of stoma is dependent on patient factor, disease factor, and surgical factors. Many created intestinal stoma are not eventually reversed. How do we determine the type of stoma when we see it? The location. Left iliac fossa is likely colostomy, right is likely ileostomy. How does the bowel lie in relation to external skin? Colostomy usually flushed with skin, ileostomy has raised spout. How many lumens present? One lumen is end colostomy or end ileostomy or urostomy. Two adjacent lumens, loop colostomy or ileostomy. Two separate stomas, double barrel stoma, or end colostomy with a mucous fistula. What are the contents in stoma bag? Stool is seen in colostomy. Semisolid or liquid stool seen in ileostomy or colostomy. Urine and urostomy. Let's look at some examples. The upper picture shows a stoma at left iliac fossa. Two possibilities, could be permanent end colostomy or temporary end colostomy. Do a dray to check anal canal patency. If anal canal absent, it is a permanent end colostomy, likely done in APR for low rectal tumor. If anal canal present, possible temporary end colostomy, done a Hartman's resection for obstructing rectal tumor. For APR with permanent end colostomy. A very low rectal cancer in distal third will need resection of the rectum and anus. The remaining descending and sigmoid colon is mobilized and cut end brought to skin surface. The stoma is usually in left iliac fossa. Whereas for anterior resection with Hartman's procedure and temporary end colostomy. If the anus, rectum, and a portion of the lower colon have not been removed, as in Hartman's procedure, two outcomes are possible. In the first, the distal, non-functioning part of the colon and the rectum can be stapled or sewn closed and left inside the abdomen as a rectal stump. The proximal colon is then taken out as an end colostomy. Because the rectum has not been removed, the urge to have a bowel movement may occur. Mucus and some old stool, if present, will be passed. Less commonly, two separate stomas may be created. One stoma is the exit of the functioning part of the colon through which stool and gas pass. The second stoma opens into the non-functioning portion of the colon and rectum and is called a mucus fistula. The second stoma is usually small, flat, pink-red in color, and moist, and it produces only mucus. Next, loop colostomy. A loop colostomy was traditionally created to defunction an inflamed sigmoid in diverticular disease, or to defunction a distal anastomosis. Also, can be indicated for prophylactic decompression before radiotherapy in an obstructing rectal tumor. A loop of colon is brought to the surface of the body and may be supported on a rod, which is removed after 5 to 7 days. The bowel wall is partially cut to produce two openings, of an afferent limb and an efferent limb. The opening of the afferent limb leads to the functioning part of the colon, through which stool and gas pass out. The opening of the efferent limb leads into the non-functioning part of the colon. The stoma site was usually high on the abdomen above the waistline because the transverse colon was commonly used. However, currently, loop colostomies are more often fashioned from the sigmoid colon to defunction the rectum or anus. Another stoma is end ileostomy. There are two possibilities, temporary end ileostomy or permanent end ileostomy. Do a digital rectal exam to differentiate. 
If there is no anal canal, it is a permanent end ileostomy, the patient has undergone panproctocolectomy. This occurs most commonly in severe ulcerative colitis but also in familial polyposis and some cases of colorectal cancer like HNPCC. After a panproctocolectomy, the ileostomy is permanent. If the anal canal is present, it is a temporary end ileostomy. Patient has undergone an emergency subtotal colectomy, which leaves part of the sigmoid colon and rectum left in place, for acute ulcerative colitis, acute ischemic bowel, or neoplastic obstruction of the sigmoid. For loop ileostomy. Suspect if ileostomy with two adjacent lumens and bag contains greenish liquid contents. This type of stoma allows for defunctioning of an obstructed colon, defunctioning of a distal anastomosis, or defunctioning of the anus. A loop ileostomy has two openings, and most are temporary. Subsequent closure can often be accomplished without a formal laparotomy. For double barrel stoma, when the cecum is removed, the surgeon might create a double barrel stoma. In essence, this is an end ileostomy and a mucous fistula sited beside each other. On examination this will look almost identical to a loop ileostomy. However, closer inspection will show two separate stomas. Lastly, urostomy. This is a general term for the surgical diversion of the urinary tract. The main reasons for a urostomy are cancer of the bladder, neuropathic bladder, and resistant urinary incontinence. The bladder is usually removed, but this may depend on the underlying condition. Formation of an ileal conduit is the most common procedure, which constitutes isolation of a segment of ileum. One end of the ileum is closed and the two ureters are anastomosed to it. Finally, the open end of the ileum is brought out onto the skin as an everted spout and will look similar to an end ileostomy. Urine drains almost constantly from the kidneys through the ureters and ileal conduit into a bag. That's all for this video. Thank you.